That, so, that's what I was what? I was messed up on was I didn't know, but but now that I know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that's the thing. Everybody, like I said, everybody want to purchase their gravestone. You ain't gotta do that. Purchase something for now, cause just like everything, it's gonna keep going up. Yeah. So your interest rates ain't going down. What everybody's used to during COVID, that was a once in a lifetime thing. That shit ain't happening no more. Then yeah. my thing is. Whenever they start doing something for us, you need to be worried. Cause later on down the line, it's gonna be real hard. So if they giving us the property right now, why we ain't jumping on it? Man, a lot of time, man, like, a lot of us don't know. You know what I'm saying? But like, a lot of people ain't trying to find out neither. Cause it ain't like people ain't trying to tell you. But if you already in a property mindset, I ain't got the money, I don't know, you stop listening. When you stop listening, you cutting out the education because you stop listening because you think you ain't got it. Yeah, when yeah, in yeah, reality, yeah. you got it. You ain't got to have the money, money right now. Just have the mindset to understand what the hell going on mm. so that you can make a move later. Okay. okay. See what I'm saying? All right, y'all. It's Coach Kerry here. This is Keeping the G. I have my lady right here with me, Queen Erica. She's in the building. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Queen Erica in, in the building and blessing us, blessing this show with her presence. So all uh, y'all stay tuned, man. We got something good for you. Just so good. <laughs> Everything that we do exclusive. Make sure that it's all inclusive. I was taught make no excuses. As a man, you can't be useless. Man, up cause these people ruthless. Hoes down, these thoughts clueless. Lobster Mac, I'm up at Roof Chris. From my tone, you keep the smoothness. In this world, you get the loose. Then your dreams is gonna be lucid. Let me check this out, man. So, um, how, how are you? You know, um, uh, with, with, with the pandemic going on, uh, we don't really hear a lot, but we do hear some, you know, um, about what's going on um, due to the pandemic and everything. And sometimes we gotta be able to check on our mental, man. So, you know, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. I can say now I'm good. Yeah. Um, every day ain't easy, you know. I'm human. I have good days and I have bad days, but I got God. Yeah. And as long as I got God, I got good days. So you said you could say now, now that you're good. So before, what was it? You know, like you wasn't good? I mean, I was, mm -hmm. you know, but everybody go through a little dark time. Yeah. Um, this go around, like we discussed earlier, is around the time my grandma passed. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you kind of fucked with me a little bit. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, kinda, yeah, yeah. I can't call her and be like, be my, you know, so that's kind of messing with me a little bit, but I know she right here. Oh, you man, know? You, you, you know, you know, you know, <laughs> grandma will be right there next she right here. You know? you know, it's just real hard dealing with her not being here physically. Yeah. But, you know, like I say, she gave me a strong foundation. I know what my faith is. And so I just push through it. Every day get easier, every day get better. So, like, what, what I, what I want to know is, you know, Grandma ended up passing away. Well, matter of fact, tell I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, it was a twerk session. Twerk session. Hey, twerk session. Get it. Twerk session. Get it. Hey. Hey. Circle, but I can get a little half a moon. <laughs> Not a full circle, but a half. Yeah, because I ain't got no peach. I got a cherry. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna even start. Don't start, man. Don't okay, start. Don't, don't start. start. Man, so uh, we're gonna, we gonna get back to it. Um, So so for the ones that don't know, uh, a little what you was, yeah, what you was dealing with, with with grandma, man? Who that was my rock. Yeah. Um, sh I started training with you when yes. my grandma went through her stroke. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you helped me through that. You know what I'm saying? Keeping me encouraged, keeping my mind kind of off it. Um, she raised me. <clears throat> Who? yeah, she my everything. Yeah. So, with her leaving, um, she had a stroke. Mm -hmm. um, I, yeah. I, I know that... Uh, you called me and you was like, Coach, I gotta leave. Yeah. You know, um, you you went out, you went you went back home to be with grandma, cause you say, uh, what you had got that phone call that she wasn't doing so well. That's when she had the stroke. Mm -hmm. So I went to Michigan and I stayed there for about a month. 
a two, probably two months, because I didn't come back to after the funeral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it took me a minute to get back to you after that, working out and stuff. So I can say shh, you helped me through a lot of that. Yeah, you helped me through a lot of that. This go around, like the anniversary period, um, this time it I had to keep to myself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it was one of those things where. I was dealing with that and then dealing with other life issues, you know, so it was kind of hard for me to come to the gym. It was real hard for me to get my mental together to come to the gym because when you come to the gym, you got to be mentally there. Yeah. Right. And I wasn't. And I would have hurt myself more coming here knowing I wasn't drinking my water right. I wasn't resting well because I was up throughout the night, you mm. know, thinking about different shit, um, not eating right. So it wouldn't have done me any good to come here because you know how I am. So, I, I mean, and, and I understand, like. But you kept telling me, you need to come back. You need oh, to yeah, come back. Yeah, yeah. And as much as I wanted to, like, it was days where I would get up, put on my workout clothes, and then just start trying to get back in the bed. Yeah. Man, you know, uh, one thing that I noticed was, you know, uh, even in the midst of you going through what you was going through, like, you you will always talk to me as if you was okay, and I I knew that deep down you wasn't okay. You know what I'm saying? So how do you balance everything and work and family? Like how do you balance all that when you're going through the storm? Prayer. Mm. Prayer. And it'd be days where I just sit and talk to God, like me and you talking. Mm -hmm. And if I can't do nothing else, I just thank the Lord for be just being here. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for waking me up. Yeah. Every day I wake up, I know I got a different purpose. So you woke me up for a reason, so I ain't done yet. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah. So even though I wasn't feeling good on the inside, <clears throat> I can't let everybody know that. Yeah, you know, yeah, I'm a yeah, realtor. Yeah, yeah. If I'm walking around here looking all sad, ain't nobody gonna wanna do business with me, you know? So I had to I had to fake it till I made it, you know, fake it till it came out. So and it's still hard. You you know, uh being being a realtor and have to cause we all put on that mask, you know, um like how how do you how do you like how do you keep going? You know? That's and I know you say, you know, it's God. That's that, know, that's the to, only explanation yeah, I got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, ain't no other explanation besides that. Because it be days I don't know I'm going to make it. Mm. But God and my son. My son is my motivation, too. He the reason I wake up. If I can't do it for him, I, ain't, I, ain't, I only got one kid. I tell everybody, if something ever happened to him, I ain't got no reason to live no more. Damn, that's you know? deep. So my grandma gone. That was my support. My grandma, my granddaddy gone. Shit, my baby, all I got left. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I gotta push for him, and I gotta make sure that his road ain't as bumpy as my road. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to go first to clear the way from him. So as long as I'm making the path clear for him, and I tell him every day, mommy may go through the rain, but I got an umbrella to make sure you never get wet. Man, you know, uh, speaking of your son, what was his name, KJ? Well, Kendrick, but yeah, we call him KJ. Yeah, yeah, KJ, right? <laughs> yeah. Because you got a KJ too. Man, so how is it? Raising a son being a single mother. Ooh, you know, it can be a, a bit tough. Mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. um, you know, I started off saying my grandma raised me, which she did. Yeah. But when I got a, turned about 13, 14, I moved with my dad. My dad was in the military. Yeah. So it was me, my dad, my two brothers, and my uncle. So I was raised in a house full of men. Yeah. Right? So Having my son is just like having my brothers in the house. Yeah. You know, hey, get this done. Because I'm the only girl, so I'm the, I made all the rules. <laughs> right, right. Hey, I understand. So I'm the woman of the house. Yeah. So get this done. Do that, do that, do that. So same thing with him. Homework done, let me check it. Take the garbage out. Go clean your room. Mm -hmm. Make your bed, you know. Um, just last night, me and him, I was like, you know what, KJ, me and you ain't had a date in a long time. He was like, yeah, mommy, we haven't. I was like, let's have a movie night. Mm. And he was like, okay. I said, what you want? So I told him, go in his room, make a list of all the snacks he wanted, and we was going to have a movie night. That little joker sent me to Publix. I'm getting sugar cookies with the frosting. Oh, he going hey, to add on to it. He going to add on to it, yeah. Above and beyond, G. I'm like, wait a minute now. I said some little snacks. It's had me making groceries. <laughs> would, would, you, would you say that it's, it's difficult, you know what I'm saying, raising a, a young man? It can be. 
Mm. It can be because I want to raise a king. Okay. Right? So, it's certain things that he see on TV and that he may see his friends and things do. I'm just not allowing. You know, yeah. especially on TV, I'd be like, that shit fake. Yeah, like, real no, talk. That's, that's not realistic. You know, I, he like his games and stuff, but as long as I'm keeping him in his books and showing him responsibility, mm -hmm. shit, he 10 in the sixth grade, all advanced classes. Oh, wow. Yeah, eighth grade math, Spanish. Um, oh, that young man gifted. Yeah. <laughs> hey, but, but I like that. I like yeah. it. I like but that. But I make sure I stay on it, too. It mm -hmm. ain't easy. Because he 10. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So, of course, he want to go play the games. and not, No, not till we get this done. So, it's making sure I, I give, show him that discipline, too. Mm -hmm. But one thing, too, is when he doing his homework, I got my computer open, too. Because he's seeing mommy work just as hard. Now, I ain't saying you got to work a 9 to 5. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But you go put in work on something. And this is where it started. If you ain't getting your books done, you can't get the games done. He mm. like the games, I like the books. You get the books, I give you the game. Just oh yeah, that yeah most definitely, most definitely, most definitely. Want to be able to give him something to work for. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what would you tell the young single mothers out there? Like, what some of the encouraging words would you give to the the young mothers? It's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. But like I tell you all the time. It ain't what happened to you, it's how you handle the situation. Mm -hmm. And as long as you handling it, handling the situation with integrity and with God, you can get through anything. Cause man, like, I'm used to my mom, man. My mom, don't get me wrong, when my mom married my stepfather, that gave us some type of foundation. But before then, my mom was a single mother. My See, mom. now one thing I can say is, my son and father is very involved in his life. Mm. Very involved. And I know a lot of like a lot of women, their their fathers, well their their baby daddies is not involved, but to have an active father in their life, that's that's breathtaking. You know, that that's a blessing all by itself. Well, I was very selective in who I chose to have a baby by too. Mm. I watched his pattern. So I watched how he was with his oldest child. So if he won shit with his oldest child, he damn sure won't have a baby hey, by me. Hey, that's facts, facts. <laughs> so I, I had to watch patterns. You know, I wasn't about to, you know, have a baby with just anybody. Yeah. No, I need to make sure that you can support what we create. So my son won the accident. I planned, we planned him. Oh, no, that's what's up. Yeah, we planned him. He was on purpose. See, and, and I think that uh, a lot of single mothers that's going through certain things, man, uh, they, they can learn from this, you know. Um, I, I would definitely tell them to use this as motivation. Absolutely. Yeah. Cause there ain't nothing you can't do. Just cause you a single mama don't mean it's stop. You know what I'm saying? It just means you got something to work harder for. That's the reason to keep going. That ain't the reason but, to give up. But what happened when you're, you're, you're back against the wall and you know that, you know, you have to take care of your little ones? When you're back against the wall, you tear that motherfucking wall down. Mm. Your back ain't never against the wall when it comes to your baby. Tear the bitch down and keep going. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't gonna never have me in no corner. I'ma always see my way out every single time. <laughs> hey, but hey, I like that though. I like that. I like yeah. that. Hey, them wise words. <laughs> hey, I see you. I yeah. see you. Um, if you were to leave anyone with something to think about, what would it be? Hmm. That's that's deep, huh? It is. Yeah, 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 it yeah. Is. Always respond with integrity, because it's going to come back to you. So if you do it right the first time, you won't have to correct it the second time. Mm. So just do the shit right the first time. Mm. Hey, y'all heard it here right on Keeping the G with me, Coach Kale, and my girl Erica, y'all. Hey, peace out. We're about to here.